Heidi here with uh, Kiddos Corral and today I want to show you guys um, a really quick and easy and you know like my kids really loved this recipe whenever they were small and I thought since Easter is right around the corner and springtime is here um, I felt like sharing this recipe with you guys because I think it is really cute um, if you all teach Sunday school or um, you have a, a class uh, you know kids that you homeschool this would be a great recipe to make with them um, I did this quite frequently for my um, Sunday school class that I used to teach and I did this for my children as I homeschooled them and as they grew up in fact my son asked me if I was going to make these which are what I call rice crispy birds nest this the first thing you want to start with in your pot and you want a heavy duty pot because it's going to get hot obviously I put a whole stick of butter and I highly suggest not to use light butter I think that it affects the taste and I'm not a big fan of the light butter I'm using a package of marshmallows you can use the little tiny ones or you can use the large ones I'm using the large ones I'm just going to add that to the pot and I'm going to bring this up to a medium between medium and low temperature um, and all I want to do is melt the marshmallow and the butter until it's nice and creamed together and I'll come back and show you what that looks like and show you the next step now while my marshmallow and butter are melting together I went ahead and lined my um, this is like a muffin pan with liners and I found these really cute liners that are Easter I found them at the Dollar Tree they also came with these cute little Easter egg picks and I haven't taken them out of the package yet but usually when I make this recipe it makes more than a dozen so I'm gonna make up these first to show you guys and then we'll show you the finished product but right now my butter and my marshmallow are coming together and then I will be right back to show you what we do next okay I'm still cooking my marshmallow and my butter together and you want to keep stirring this so it doesn't burn and keep moving it around and you also want to make sure that all your marshmallows melt down so it'll be just a creamy texture now that my marshmallows are fully melted I want to go ahead and add my Rice Krispies to this now I don't really have a specific amount of Rice Krispies that I add to this I just add enough Rice Krispies that my marshmallow and butter mixture will cover and combine them all to uh, act as a glue so probably half this bag I would say which is almost the equivalent of one small box of cereal because uh, this bag I bought is actually equal amount to two small boxes of cereal because when I checked it out I tried to buy the one that I felt was the most economical and you can see this is pulling together just perfect see how that's all getting good and covered and that's what you want because the marshmallow and the and at this point you want to turn your uh, your uh, your stove off I'm gonna add just a little bit more cereal to this a tad bit more there we go this is kind of the part where you want to kind of act fast a little bit because you don't want this to harden because you want to be able to put it into your muffin cup so I'm going to move the camera over to where the muffin cups are and I'm going to show you what you do next okay now I have showing you guys my muffin cups and all you want to do at this point is spoon in some of your rice crispy mixture into the cup just like so and I'm just going to show you a few because it's very self-explanatory 
you want to smash it down to make it so it's like a little bird's nest. And then I bought these candies that are the Malt Ball Easter Eggs. And I put one on top. Or you can put two or as many as you like. I think they're so cute with the little Easter egg on top. So I'm going to continue to fill these cups and then I will come back and show you the finished product. Okay, here they are all finished. And what is nice about using the egg is because, you know, it's kind of hard to get the Rice Krispies in there flat. And so if you can just spoon it in there and then press the egg into the top, it'll actually flatten it out and make it go into the uh, cupcake paper more evenly. And I just really think they come out really cute. Um, I love the pastel eggs. And there's the other plate. And I got 24 total. My son just took off with one. And then I had these left over here in the pan. I hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday Simple Supper and this very simple recipe. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I will be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.